Hello. Okay, inviting cat plus, let's have a look here. Hi, there's people joining. This is so exciting. Okay, I just need to figure out how to invite cat. We can, oh, hang on. Okay, wait, request to join. Hi everyone. Okay, bear with me. I'm just trying to figure out how to, oh, here we go. Yes, got it. Cat Burrell, there you are. Something here. Hi everybody. Yes, Yay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we did step one. We fucking did it! <laughs> oh my Brilliant. gosh, guys, Dom and I have, have been chatting just before this and being like, we're the two worst people for them to just like let go with here's a here's an app you need to navigate and this is this platform. <laughs> I love the assumption of yeah. like you absolutely will know how to do this and for sure, yeah. sure. I was under the impression they were gonna send some uh, instructions to you actually, Kat, but no. we managed. We're so we tannish. We're self-sufficient. We'd be fine if you stuck us in the middle of the forest. We could figure this out. <laughs> because you definitely need your phone in the middle of the forest. Sure. Yeah, 100%. But I don't know. I mean, how do you feel? I feel like I would be better in a dumped in like a... Would you, would you navigate better? I, I feel like I may know the answer, but uh, in, a, in a completely foreign city or in the middle of the woods? Ooh, good question. Probably a foreign city. Oh, I thought we're you were actually good. There you go. That shows me for making assumptions. Well, just because I've like done a lot of traveling in, in foreign cities, like that was part of my that's true, my childhood and everything. But definitely stick me in the woods and I'd be a happy, a happy a human little, for sure. Um, very, like, I'm very fascinated by these people who are survivalists, you know, who just go with nothing. Amazing, nothing. Yeah, like how, but also we've gotten so far away from yeah. that. For sure, for sure. Yeah. It's quite incredible. Hi, everyone. Happy, happy Saturday. Saturday. Happy belated Valentine's Day. Happy belated Valentine's Day. Yeah. Um, I, I guess people are joining. Oh my gosh, there's already 2,700 people. Oh my here. gosh, that's a lot. <laughs> Oh, guys. Wow. Hi, everybody. Hi, guys. If you feel like sharing, oh, perfect. Just as I was about to say, if you feel like sharing where you're tuning in for, from. Oh, that would be nice. Got... Great idea. Mexico, I France, see. I see France. Oh, this is really nice. Wow. How do you know how many does it tell you? At the top, top right corner, 2,726 oh, people. Wow. Oh my goodness. Amazing. 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 Hi from Germany. Fantastic. I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm amazed to see, oh geez. I, I have, I have quite greasy hair, so I've put on this tube <laughs> for vanity. I love you say. <laughs> You know it's bad when you're like, I can't remember the last time I've washed it. <laughs> just, just, you know. Uh, I, I do bathe. I just don't always wash my hair. I just, it starts, I like it starts washing itself after it a while. You're fine. <laughs> okay, Natural good. oils. Start I'm still fine. waiting for that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it, is, it is so nice to be doing this, Dom. Like, what a treat to be able to... Just hang to out. Connect. Yeah, to hang out. And, and I feel like this doing this streamly has given us opportunity to like touch base so much over the past couple weeks which has been so so nice and now all of you guys are here a hundred percent i was thinking the same thing this morning i was like i'm so excited to see cat again like it just feels so nice it's so nice it's, it's so, so nice this has just been lovely yeah oh some, some people from scotland oh there's a good question dom if you could live anywhere in the world where would you live right right here yeah. Yay! 
I've just moved into my new house, so it feels absolutely amazing to actually finally have found a place to land. I am in the woods. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it just feels it feels really nice to be in like a peaceful like area surrounded by nature. I have a river not far, just down the way, and it feels absolutely amazing. Oh. How about you, Kat? Where would you Where would you? Uh... Mm, I do really love where I live. I live in like. Um, you know, you, you came and saw, surrounded by all these old houses. And every time I go for a walk, I feel like I'm going back in time. And my my creative, like, daydreamy brain just sort of takes off. And I love that about where I live. And your house um, is amazing. My house is, like, is really awesome. I love my house. <laughs> I love my house. And I'm so, like, I'm finally getting to the point where I'm actually starting to, rather than just, like, the big big strokes starting to decorate and put pictures up and personalize more which is lovely yeah, mm -hmm. I love my house mm -hmm. and I love thinking that like every time I walk down the stairs or I'm like standing somewhere in front of the fireplace I'm like wow how many people have like how much has happened in this room I find mm -hmm. that so fascinating to think about but where else would I like to live I mean I also would really love to live on a farm one day like just a little hobby farm I think would would be amazing um maybe not all the time but maybe yeah for like a weekend retreat would be spectacular amazing yeah, um, yeah. yeah. couldn't agree more yeah. maybe one day I'll be on a farm you can come for the weekend retreat. yeah I'll come well, I'm coming. I'm going to come when we come through Montreal. I'm coming to see you. 100%. Yeah, you absolutely yeah. have to. Yeah, so absolutely. Nice. Um, what are we thinking? Do we do we start? We do should we probably, wait? Yeah, we should probably start, right? Yeah. We, this is the first time we're okay. ever doing this. <laughs> yeah. There's going to be a lot of multitasking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm uh, yeah there's lots of different prints here we have a whole like website that's going to tell us what to write where and we've got certain prints on Kat's side certain prints on my side and I'm slightly concerned that as we're going to be talking I'm going to be writing the thing that we talk what we're saying do you ever have that at I always have to me. where you're yeah. like you're like okay cool so like they tell you what to say and then you're like cool, cool, and then you'll like continue the conversation, and then you'll just start writing, like, writing cherry pie or whatever yeah. that you're talking about, and then you're like, yeah. oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I totally know. I totally, I do that all the time. I know exactly what you mean. So yeah, I also find it really hard to write with like the TV on. Oh, me too. Or you you and I have talked really about this before. TV, but yeah, or we music. need silence. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I remember when you said that it made me feel so much more normal because so many people are like, oh no, I have mm -hmm. to have like a bit of TV mm -hmm. on in the background or like some music. And you and I, maybe it's an only child thing of just being very used it's to very, being very like, quiet <laughs> in your room, just like in just alone. It's quite yeah. sad, really. Yeah. But yeah. it definitely yeah. is, uh, it definitely helps me too, for sure. <clears throat> uh, okay. All right, my love. Shall we, shall we get going? Let's do it. Okay, I think I have the first one up here. I'm going to write this one back. Oh no. Hold up. This pen is rubbish. Did they send you pens? I got two pens, but luckily I had a bunch of leftovers from like other virtual cons. See, I did not have a pen. I do not have a pen. Uh -oh. I mean, they did not send pens, uh -oh. sorry. Um, but I think I'm going to try this one and see if it works first. We'll see, we'll see. I wish I could okay. send you. I have a, I actually have an abundance of pens, <laughs> sort of. Because every time for every, every online con, you get like six thrown at you. And so now I have so many. Yeah, no, I I can imagine that you have quite a few. So first of all, I'm going to sign this print, this beautiful print of one of the most magical days, I would say, of our time in Winona. Yeah. Would you agree, Kat? I would agree. I would agree 100%. I also really love how it's like not looking we're we're it's like a very of the moment. Yeah. It's a capturing of the moment. I think it's beautiful. Yeah, it's such a such a beautiful um, picture. Okay, so this is to Courtney. Yay. So hi Courtney. Hey. Hey, hey Courtney. I'm gonna jump ahead while Dom does that one. And I'm doing I have these on my end, this very sexy from our Halloween episode. Yes. That moment where you killed everyone. 
I love this photo. I also was very proud of myself that this still fit all those years later because it was the <laughs> same costume that they pulled out of storage. Um, I love this though. I love that moment. I thought it was so sexy and fun and just beautiful. And just like classic way hot, like classic, totally. classic heart, just rocking. <laughs> da, 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 <laughs> and then Waverly just like, uh, okay, hey. sure. <laughs> not dead not okay dead. so uh, Kat, I, I don't i didn't i'm not doing it with a sharpie because my black sharpie is a little bit um thing but do you think that that feels okay oh yeah i think that looks great it's going to be a little bit i need to and then i think you'll be able to sign down here um in like a, a silver or a gold or something on, on brilliant okay cool. yes oh yeah yeah definitely oh i've lost well, thank my... you courtney appreciate you all right i've got this one my first one is for vivian so I'm going to sign here for Vivian. Okay. Un poquinho. So un poquinho. Okay. Um, Vivian. V I V I. Now I'm going to sign this one. My goodness. I hope the they're Chris. giving us extras. I know. I thought the same because they'd sent them a little bit. Um, okay. So. So competitive. So cocky. Oh, yeah. I love this. I remember reading that scene for the first time coming back for that season. And it was such a cool opening. And I, I just loved it. I was like, it. oh, way hot and fucking sexy. Oh, yes, get it. Except, do you remember that, like, literally it was like this little platform that they made yeah. and it did not feel sexy or cool? We were not on the roof. It was, yeah, it was like in the parking lot and they had made this tiny thing roof yeah it's yeah, like I, climb up the back just like yeah. hop on yeah and basically all the crew could like like we just hang our heads over and they would touch our makeup off <laughs> oh, excellent okay okay i have another one here for melanie well dom signs that one i'm gonna do this one for melanie melanie has no special instructions so melanie i'll just gonna put your name Melanie. Two, two. <clears throat> All right. Written back. Okay. There we go. Thank you so much, Chris. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I have. Oh, wait, no, that's yours. Not complete. Heading back to the wedding. And this is for Linda. And Linda, I'm going to write my favorite bit of Waverly's Vows. Oh, nice. Which I think is, I promise to stand beside you as equals. Mm. I think it was promise. Let me double check. I think I've written it down over here. Yes, I promise to stand beside you as equals. I just wanted to double check. Beautiful. I loved those vows. I thought they were so well, so well written. I'm going to go, this one is for Chance. And Chance, you've left um, no specific quote, so I'm going to write your name up here. For the rest of our lives. So, how do you think, how do you think Way Hot are doing, Kat? I think they're now great i think they're so great i think they're uh i don't know in my head i'm always i always think that they have like children and are they're running around on the homestead and having um i think one time i was talking there was an activity that i, I could see them doing it would be like a practice camping in the backyard or Aww. in like that front area the area by the, by yes. the back porch because maybe the kids are not ready ready for full-on camping yet but they could do like a practice overnight mm. outside and wait for them to make little sandwiches and they'd all put up the tent and have a fire and oh my god stop it's like I, my dream i think it's so i think i don't that's my what do you think they're doing I, i'm down for that that feels down for that. so right and yeah i'm here for that okay so i'm now moving on to tracy and we have Tracy, and then in brackets, it says Strally W-V-U. 
Um, Tracy, if you're there, would you like me to write the bracket, Strali, uh, WVU? I'm going to just check, mm -hmm. see if they are there. Tracy is there. Um, okay, I'm going to go with what's written. I think that's the best bet. So I'm going to put the brackets too. Would you do the same, yes. Kat? I yeah. would put the brackets, yeah. Okay. okay. I've got another one here. This is for uh, Jasmine. I think it's Grazi or Graze. Gosh, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, a smiley face or any fave or recently <laughs> used emoji. Awesome. Okay. Smiley face works for me. Let's do that. What's your most used emoji, Dom? Ooh, um, most used, uh, either the sparkles, the rainbows, pretty used too. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, but I also like the sunflower. Oh, like the sunflower yeah. Because yeah. um, sunflowers are my favorite flower. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, I love that. that. It's such a beautiful flower. Oh, just some. Oh, bollocks. Excuse my language. Okay. Um. Whoa. Okay. 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 I've got another one here. This is for Tia. Tia's asking, can you please write what your go-to drink is or just doodle whatever you want? Dom, what's your go-to drink? Um, like, is it an, uh, specifically an alcoholic okay. beverage or non-alcoholic? Alcoholic or anything. If, if, oh, if cup of tea, alcohol. love. Absolutely. Nice. Got to be, got to be the cup of tea. Gotten quite into the tea tea recently, actually, but I don't make a I don't make a good tea like you. Mine like mine's all the herbal stuff with no milk, and That's every time I serve a bread of tea, I get anxious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Okay, so I'm doing another way hot wedding for Amy, um, and Kat, you're gonna write. You look so beautiful, and I'm gonna say hot as hell. Oh, beautiful! Thanks, Amy. My drink is a good old fashioned. Nice. That's also a great drink. I would say, like, if it was an alcoholic beverage, it would either be a gin and tonic, oh. or which I'm actually really getting into, uh, like, non alcoholic gin and tonics recently. There's like a really good non alcoholic gin that I found. Oh, really? And it like really hits the spot for like a you know when you just want like a like, little afternoon like. Well, early evening yeah aperitivo yeah um so what is it does it still have the taste of a gin and it's just yeah. not quite as oh it doesn't have the alcohol yeah yeah it's wow. really nice um i yeah I'm, uh, nice yeah i've cut back on my i don't not drinking very much at all these days yeah but um i do enjoy a glass of i still enjoy a glass of red as well but if i'm gonna have yeah. a cocktail i'll go for an old-fashioned usually nice glass of vino yeah all right hot as hell beauty which let's be honest you work cat. oh thanks i know that suit's so great and That's actually beautiful. you know who has that suit now is you uh tracy it's one of our fans tracy gosh i forget her her last name you would know exactly who it is though yeah and you see which tracy yeah. But yeah, she has it in her office. I did a, a video call with her. So it's nice to, uh, it's nice to see somebody enjoying it, you know? A hundred percent. I feel yeah. slightly bad that I'm the one enjoying the wedding dress what now, but yeah. What do you mean? No, it's amazing that you have it. Where do you keep it? That's all right. Um, I actually have literally uh, not taken it out of the box yet, but I have a feeling I've, I've in my basement, I've put like all loads of like way hot Winona Earp, um, like oh. posters, like heading down as you go down the stairs. Nice. Like it's like, nice. a, it's like a, I'll send you a picture. I've literally just done it like two days ago. Um, but done like a, a Winona Earp, like, like just, yeah, like, like a, like memories. Oh, memories. I oh that's memories. beautiful. 
And then as I go round the basement, I'm like, I maybe just will put it like on a hanger and like have it against the wall. Nice. Just to That's like, beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a great idea. I have, what do I have? Of, I've got most of my stuff. I haven't put anything up in my like little office here. I'm just like my last room. But I've got my little. <laughs> oh, you've got your everyone. Yeah, I've got yes. my everyone welcome in my living room yeah. too. <laughs> That's up there. But I don't have actually anything other than my work board on the walls yet. I have to. I was going to say, that looks really legit. Your I know, I know. It's that like... is a very cat <laughs> very... uh, I just like... redid it. It was, it was very um, not organized like that and then I had uh, I was in one of those moods and I was like I'm gonna erase this and, and do it all Good for you yeah yeah I actually just bought myself one of those boards but like a week board like with Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday oh, that you nice. can like write you can write on yeah stuff yeah it's helpful it's helpful to kind of see everything in front of you of like what what needs to be done a hundred percent and I have like not had an office in what feels like forever and like now I finally have like a space where like that's where I go to work so it's yeah. so nice to be able to be like Isn't okay I can get organized um, I'm not living out of a backpack anymore I, like, I can't are. even imagine like because you did that for a long time and after like what a drastic difference yeah. oh my gosh but you it's were so, so ready easy. for that too my gosh yeah. yes so this is for Jordan Kelly um, beautiful way of spelling the name and I've just signed it here for you so that will be coming to you soon yeah no it's transformative honestly Kat like yeah. having an office and just having a space where I can actually like stay organized mm -hmm. I think my, my start the wave crew are gonna be like thank god thank god yeah thank <laughs> god Dom, you have places to like actually put things you're not just like in transit all the yeah, time yeah all the time I'm struggling for good wi-fi yeah exactly. yeah i think it really does help i mean we've only got just the the three bedrooms so if i ever have to vacate this room i don't know where i'm gonna go but i need an office like a room of one's own you, yeah I, I mean what a difference and this was like the room where we put all the shit that had nowhere else to go like it became that room of like <laughs> just put it in that room and we'll figure it out and then i would be working in here and i just hated being in here the energy of it, it totally yeah. really, and all i did was clear out the clutter and put in like a little nice chair and a light <laughs> so much difference now the clutter's in the corner of my room of course but we're getting there we're getting there but yeah no, i totally you. relate yeah it makes a big difference just having that your space that yeah you i'm great i'm not currently in it because it isn't set up yet it's my next place where i'm gonna like transform it and i've like ordered right. a bunch of stuff and it's all coming i've got a desk i've got one of those desks that moves up and down oh i'm so excited yeah. on my back so you can like yes. stand up and work and then sit down and work so hopefully next time if ever we do this again yeah. or whatever i'll be in my nice you'll be at your office. standing desk dog i know I'm like, going what, up in the world. I don't know what to tell is you. Happening here. <laughs> Things are changing. Okay, I have a beautiful um, quote to write for Vanessa. Um, and it's on the way hot print. The, I keep saying the way hot print. On the wedding print. And it is, don't be afraid to be who you really are. Which oh. I just love everything about that. And it speaks like directly to my heart. Um, so Vanessa, don't be afraid to be who you really are because um yeah i think that's a, a You're pretty message for awesome. everyone. okay i've got one i've just signed for i'm hoping i'm saying your name right it's d-a-s-i-a -S -S how would you say that dom dacia dacia d-a-s-i-a -S -S it's flip reversed so i know it's called yes. i'm gonna say dacia 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 and dacia said just wanted to say i'm obsessed with you two amazing job with your characters on the show and if you doodle a little heart i'm gonna get it tattooed <gasps> hey oh okay so i'm doing the heart but then when anyone ever says they're gonna get it tattooed i always do a few on the back because you know, what if you don't like 100%. that one and it's yeah. on you and then you're 85 in your rocking chair and you're like, damn, Caparo with this dumb heart. She gave me no other I do choice. The same. <laughs> oh, that's great. I do the same. I do the same. I do you? Yeah. yeah. I'm always like, you can pick. You can pick. I know. It's like my, my fear of, uh, I don't know. And, and you yeah. have, you've gotten quite a few tats recently, but 
I have none. I've just got a new one. Did you? On my right hip. Oh. Yeah, Ooh, it's nice. Halfway through, I've got my second appointment actually next week. My third appointment next week because nice. it's big. Yeah. But I've got like, this beautiful lion on my right oh, hip. Oh, wow. It's like, wow. yeah, to, to really sort of symbolize like stepping forward courageously in your life because the right side of the body is, um, is actually the masculine and associated with the masculine. And also like, yeah, so it's about like stepping forward and being confident and courageous yeah. and all that. So it feels oh, amazing to amazing. have. Amazing. Oh, it sounds beautiful. Yes, really. I'm so commitment phobe about getting tattoos. I've always really? wanted tattoos, but I feel like it's like once I start, then I'm just going to want to get. Yeah, that's what it's like. That. I oh, have yeah. the exact same thing. And yeah. then literally it's like now I'm like already thinking about the, about next, the next one, one. Well, and the next one after that. that. And I'm like, uh oh, this is going to be a lifelong. Like, yeah. But I'm also like, I, I held back from from getting tattoos for years because I felt like I couldn't because of being an actor and what yeah. people told me about it and trying to be someone that I wasn't and all of that stuff that now that I'm finally just allowing myself to be myself and being like, I don't actually care what everyone else thinks. And if it means that I don't get jobs, I won't get the jobs that I'm supposed to get, but I might get other jobs that yes. I am supposed to get because of the fact that, right? And so once you sort of like take that limiting belief off or whatever, now I'm like, I got some catching up to do. <laughs> <laughs> I love so that. Let's yes. Go. You definitely okay, got, so yeah. The first print of this old school one, Kat. Remember <gasps> that? Oh my gosh. That <laughs> is time travel. Season was that two? You have short hair. So I'm guessing it must be two. I have a very short skirt. Oh yeah, this must be season two because these are the um the googly boots, aren't they? they? Are. And googly are. Are season two. I remember those boots. I just have all these memories of you in tiny thigh high <laughs> boots, freezing your ass off, and you would have your like big UGG warm boots, and then they would have to come and take them from you. <laughs> Oh, and so I was like five you. more minutes, oh. like just five oh. more minutes, and they're just starting to thaw. And yeah. then I'd be like, "Nope, back in no. these tiny fucking oh, where God. all of your all of the blood, you know, it's like you you're you're really in a high angle, so oh, and they're all squished at the bottom, and you're like, oh, it's so cold." Oh my gosh, I can't even. I was so lucky. I tried never ever to complain because I had literally the most comfortable clothes and the warmest <laughs> outfit of anyone. Like I could have been crew at some point. I was so comfortable. It was yeah. ridiculous. And I was still cold. I don't know how you and Mel did it. Oh my God. It was pretty, yeah, oh. it was pretty ridiki donkey. Okay, so this is for Tiffany Taylor. So Tiffany Taylor, which is a really cool name. Um, this is for you, Tiff. Okay, and I'm signing one. I've got another one here. I'm just going through all of, of this one for now. I've got one for Jane. And please add, thank you for being a Way Hot fan. Jane, if you're watching, thank you for being a Way Hot fan. We really appreciate it. We're so glad that you came on this, on this wild ride with us. Oh my gosh. This is for you. Jane. Tiffany, this is heading your way. I definitely wish I had some of your pens, Kat. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna lie. Oh. Dude, yeah. I, it's okay. I should have mailed you some. I've got a ridiculous amount of them. All right. Oh, shoot. shoot. I wrote, thank you for being a way hot. <laughs> uh, I mean, that works too, and, right? And there we go. I just saw somebody mentioning sunflowers. What what flower is, what's your favorite flower, oh, Kat? My favorite flower is a peony. It's, you know, the peonies, they're like just, they're big bushes and then they have just like this burst of like fluffy color. Mm, they look beautiful. like little puff balls of fluff. I love peonies and they're only available for such a short, short time. Nice. Yeah. So we really, really savor them they're when they're out special. in season. Yeah. yeah. Do they I smell think good? I may try to grow some this year, actually, in my little garden. What did you say? Sorry. Did Do they smell good? Mm, they're fragrant, but not like a particularly. Right. Yeah. Um, oh, and I do love. I don't know if you would consider this, but speaking of fragrant ones, I love a wisteria bush. 
wisteria is like this beautiful sort of bluey purple uh it, like it's like a vine and it goes on a trellis but it smells amazing nice. oh my god it smells amazing so i've just done one for somebody i'm not sure who it is but it's coming your way okay i've got one here my next one is for katie and becky katie and becky oh i see so cat yeah sorry to interrupt no no but um so now have you caught yours up? are at the top so okay. you're gonna have to mark complete i think okay if it's the ones that you've done scroll up to where you are ah uh, yeah okay so we've definitely we've got uh oh where's vivian that's vivian oh no john has already messed up shoot we had Vivian. What happened to Courtney? We Caprina. Sorry, I'm reading some of the comments. Yes, absolutely. Come on, Cap yeah, that was if you take me back to a memory. Oh. Dancing in Brazil. Honestly, the non-alcoholic gin is really good. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I'm currently doing um a a, a process called the presence process, and it's a commitment to sobriety for 10 weeks whilst you go through this really amazing transformative process of breathing twice a day and whatever um and it's so good and it's meant that yeah i've also been really not drinking um and the non-alcoholic gin is just a really lovely really lovely um alternative cat my yeah. dear so are I, you still on which I one are you realize on? what's going on now <laughs> okay i think what i didn't realize is as you're marking them complete it's not like auto completing on my end so i'm gonna maybe just refresh and let's see if oh, i can catch see. up to you okay so uh, if not i can just do it i just need to make sure that i remember which ones oh oh i see what's happening because I haven't completed it. That's what I mean. But you've completed. Oh shoot! So no, now the ones that are at the top. Mm -hmm. So the one that I'm mm -hmm. seeing at the top um, is, is like Vivian. Vivian. Yeah. Yeah. So if you mark them complete on your side, the ones that you've done, we should get. Oh, I can. I can mark them complete. Okay. Yeah. I thought I was had to wait for you. Okay, I understand. Oh, no, no, we're good. Okay, let me go. Yeah, so you'll just go through and then it will come up with the next one. And I'll just go to Vivian Amy. Vivian is complete. And then we've got Melanie is complete. There you go. There so now I'm on to Amy. Oh. Okay. And Amy is going to get one of these bad boys. Oh. I know there were mixed feelings about the bangs <laughs> in season two. But was it season two, season three? But they, on this picture, they look kind of cute, no? I thought her bangs were very cute. I remember the process of the bangs. I remember when you were <laughs> debating the bangs. Because you were just so desperate to cut your damn hair in any way you possibly could. <laughs> you know, it's like, I just don't like, something no, to change. We, need, we, want, we really need to have long hair. And you're like, well, <laughs> I just cut the front. I thought they looked really cute. I, I love you, Kat. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure that it always looked cute, but at times it looked well, good. It, just, it was a, Oh, sorry. Bangs sorry. are hard, aren't they? Yeah. They're like hit and miss. Like sometimes when you style them good, it looks all right. The next time you're a bit like, oh, this looks a bit random on the front of my face. Well, they're tough. Just because it's like if they're not perfectly situated, they can get, they can get wonky quick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I love a bang now. Me too, I have, I have to yeah. say. Yeah, and you've kind of got a bang going on now. Like yeah, I guess so. It's like fun. a little, it's a little situation. My hair just changes every time I go to the barbers. I'm like not really sure what I'm going to come out with. Do you um, let your barber have free reign? Are you like within these parameters? Do something fun, kind of thing. Well, I now have a new barber, and he and he's a countryside barber, right? Like I you. Usually I'd go to a barbershop in Montreal yeah. and it was no big deal. It was actually a really interesting process now that I'm living a little bit more in the country because I went to go and find a barber. I actually had quite an unpleasant experience at the first place that I went to um, where they were clearly a little bit uh, queerphobic. And, um, and it was like, yeah, just a really un unpleasant 
oh, I'm you know, sorry, moment but... where you're just like, I'm not, yeah, no, I'm I guess not, I'm not going to go, <laughs> not, not yeah. here. Um, yeah. But then I found this really lovely guy on the main strip who is just like the absolute opposite and the, the sweetest human in the world. And he's like so excited to cut my hair. And he's like, you're such a mystery. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. I'm going to take that as a compliment. I love that. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, so it's been, I've only been to him twice, but he, uh, yeah, I, I was just like, I just want to fade. And like, he kind of has a bit of free reign. Yeah, yeah absolutely. To do his thing. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. I mean, what a great lesson of like, you know, you go somewhere and, you're not feeling as welcome or as comfortable and then you go another place and it's a completely yeah the completely universe different. did me a solid honestly afterwards it was like the yeah. universe was just like okay you need like some good vibes, good after. vibes. Totally. Yeah. okay now i'm on to the wait am i oh i'm not on signing view oh you don't have to have signing view cat you can just no. put so you, we can go on to non-signing view and then... I'm just looking for a rogue print for Courtney. I could have sworn we did a Courtney, but maybe it was a different Courtney. And I've missed it. Oh boy, Tom. <laughs> we're we're going to be here for a while. I know, we, we've only got 20 minutes of our hour left. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Great, <laughs> right, I'm now moving on to this lovely old school print as well. What season was this? Season two as well? Oh yeah. My I think gosh. that was, was it three? I mean, didn't we discern that you had a bang situation going on? No, that oh, was- Oh yes, yes, yes. And I feel like I've actually got- Or was it a mid-season bang change? Why did I have extensions, Kat? Oh, did I accidentally cut them yes. too? Cut my hair too short or something? And they got like they were like. This I is remember you had extensions. Oh my horrible. god! Yeah, you had those horrible tape and things that Mel has. Yeah, oh. I don't really remember. I don't really remember why, but anyway. Um. Anyway, so this. I feel like is... it was after you went to Brazil and you cut your hair. I probably cut the just a teeny bit too short, and she was like, "Dom, this is a bit too short for, yeah. for Waverly." Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay, so I now have this. So I'm doing this print for the first time and please add character name and favorite quote if able. Also Kat, thank you for the Huckleberry mm. app suggestion. Oh, the Huckleberry app? What's the Huckleberry app, Kat? <laughs> oh, oh, I was like, you're using the Huckle, it's a, it's a sleep app for babies. So I was like, oh, what? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> for a second, I was like, wait a second, what are you telling me? Um, <laughs> Yes, the Huckleberry. Any parents out there, the Huckleberry app is like this incredible dom. It's amazing. Really? I, I will admit, I, I went a little overboard. Well, everything you buy for a baby comes with an app. It's like the nightlight what? has an app and the freaking light bulb has an app. We were setting up Ronan's room. I thought, Jesus, we have to get him his own iPad. It's ridiculous. Are you but serious? That's most just of them mind are, have become useless, but, or we like never really use, but this Huckleberry app, if you're a parent out there or you take care of a small person, it's like an app where you put in their age and then when they woke up and yeah. when they fell asleep and it will give you within like, and it's so scary accurate, the ultimate, like the best 10 minute sweet spot for them to go back to sleep. Oh. Because if you miss oh. it and they get overtired, it can like it boost their adrenaline and then they're like wired. Huh. Fascinating. And it was like, like it worked on Ronan like we could not believe. And it was so helpful. And also because when they're kids, they're changing so much and like then they go down to one nap or then they are up to these many naps. Mm. Anyways, la la la. Ooh. But uh you're welcome and I'm so glad someone found it helpful. It's not yeah. la la la. Yeah. Um, it's all to come. I'm like, yeah. wow, that is that's a lot of stuff that you don't know. Yeah, you learn so quick, and like every kid is different. But there are a few hacks that I found that I'm like, this is useful. This is a hundred percent helpful. This is for Courtney. Courtney, I think I missed you on the first go around. So this is for you. I'm gonna put your name at the top here. Oh, you are to N E Y. And I have just written this one out to Kylie and oh crap I think I might have just accidentally clipped a thing Kat. Oh, that's, uh oh okay. did I complete someone something that, that was wasn't not... complete uh oh, oh wait that's weird maybe not oh my gosh okay oh. there's so there's so many clicks and so many I things know. You... Oh, I know. it's not anyway. 
Yeah. This is to Kylie. And uh, yes, yeah, so my favorite quote, one of my favorite quotes, just because it's a classic, is when I think about what I want to do most in this world, it's you. Yeah. Because it was hilarious. Yeah. And just like such a, it was just such a, like, a perfect way hot moment. A, a wave, a young wave yeah. moment, I should say, like at the beginning of her journey. I love that scene. Oh, I still remember. Oh no, we do have to have signing view, don't we? Because I need to be able to write the thing at the back. Oh, I've just. <sighs> and then I have this one rogue one that I can't actually find to mark complete. So I'll just. Um... Oh boy. Okay. I don't know where I don't. Oh dearie me! I don't. This Ky Kylie, I need to write a number on the back. Cat, I can't find it. That's mean. Oh shoot, Kylie, I can help you look. It's it's the wedding one. No, it's the one. This one. Hmm. But I I don't know whether maybe is there a place for the com the, the ones marked marked completed? Yeah. Uh, probably. Man, uh, they should be able to figure yeah, it out, right? Know, if there's one so, without the back on, yeah, set it aside for now, and maybe at the end it'll be like pop up somewhere, and we can okay. we can look. Kylie, we'll make sure it gets to you. Don't worry. Um, okay, I'm gonna scroll down here a little bit more. Any tips for local activism? I'm sorry, I've just seen a question go past, oh, so I'm gonna know. answer it. Yeah. Um, I would say get clear about what it is you're passionate about and what it what type of activism you want to partake in um and then yeah just research really like i would start with just a simple google search of you know if it's lgbtq2a plus you know activism rights whatever um or yeah, whatever it is that you're kind of passionate and interested in and and go from there and also like your local depends where you are but if you're in a city like um or like a town go to like the people have like marches and stuff up on pin boards and stuff you just have to kind of like keep your eye keep your eyes open i think and also the inter like also social media i would imagine right Kat? I'm not much of a social media person. Yeah, I mean, I think social media, especially for younger generations, like I'm so amazed with how Gen X, I guess, would be the next one. They how they use social media, yeah. and there's a whole. I was reading an interesting article about how much of a shift from the millennials using Instagram to Gen X is using TikTok, and TikTok is sort of, I mean, it's also curated, but it's got more of a reputation for being a little bit more authentic and easier to engage people. Mm, and they're using it for a lot more like activism and yeah. So maybe, maybe through that. Yeah. Um, okay. So you've got Vivian. I still got Vivian and Melanie up. Oh, it's because it's not refreshing. That's the thing, isn't it? You said. Oh, I, that, that I don't know. I'm like halfway down the list looking for these guys. <laughs> but I just signed one for uh, Katie and Becky. This is for you, and it'll be going to Dom, and Dom will sign too. So, yay! yay. Okay. So, for some reason, Vivian and Melanie are still at the top for me. At the is, top? Well, is this yours? On yours? Um, at the top for me is Courtney. So, what? I don't know. Oh. Oh gosh, okay. I'm not sure. I just want to make sure that I'm not. Okay, come on. We can do we this can internet. Do we this. can figure this out. How I'm is your just... internet at your place? Pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Pretty good, yeah. Um, well, I don't know. Because I've got Amy that Amy's done. So I'm just going to keep scrolling, I guess. And then we're just going to have to mark them complete. Like, have you marked Mel uh, Vivian and Melanie complete and everything? I have, but it's showing still for you, I think, because you haven't maybe done your signing on it. Is that... I so think that's why... I'm understanding you. So do I have to mark complete or no? No, I think you, you don't until you get it. And then it will tell Streamly when we've both marked as complete. 
that make sense? That does make sense. Yeah. The only thing is, is that with Amy, I've done Amy, and Amy, for some it's reason, oh, on your list. oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah? We, we're good. good. I think we're good. Okay. They come back onto something good, here. Good. Sorry, folks. We, we're, it's, it's, a, it's a first. It's a and all Very firsts good. are a learning curve. There we go. Okay. This is for... Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, I've, I've figured it out, Kat. You have? Get on you. Oh, okay, so back to the old school print. This Here is we for go. you, Corey. I'm sending uh, this over your way, and Dom's going to sign it. No special request, so I'm just going to put some X's and O's. I was getting mixed up. What the, the O is the kiss, right? Like lips and the X is like a hug. Oh. Right? I thought the... The O was the hug. Oh. And the X and is the, the kiss. X the kiss. But listen, I've been you're asking the wrong thing. emails with a, with a kiss, then I maybe should have put an X. So the X is the kiss. X is the note. X is the note. Okay, so I'm, I'm signing one here to Mako and Nutshell. Which, is, which are both amazing names. If you're there watching. Hi. Looking for some questions. If you're looking for Courtney, I'm pretty sure if Dom did that one. I don't remember. Oh, yes. I think you you are right. Thank you. Thank you, in nutshell. Thank you. Coming your way. And thanks for giving us Wayhop fans such great role models to look up to. That means so much. And I'm, yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. That's just so sweet. And I'm, I'm so glad that you found um, Wayhop and that they have become a part of your life. Mm -hmm. And that, yeah, we've all found each other through this amazing adventure. What, what an event, that's the perfect word for it. How, I mean, gosh, I was reflecting on like, just everything, it's so crazy how much we've, with, you know, the show has over the years evolved and like, remember our first live tweets? <laughs> We were like, oh my gosh, somebody's out there watching. <laughs> Dom, so you're getting some um some some comments for the bangs. I loved the bangs. The Aww. bangs were super cute. Thanks. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, I also have uh, so this one I uh, is for Jenny Tucker, and she's asking, can you include your favorite love themes or LGBTQ? plus quote from the show i love you guys so much um so i'm gonna actually put uh, a line that waverly says um which is actually one of like my favorite waverly lines even though it's uh, kind of was said in a random moment but i just think it says so much about waverly's heart um which is love might be the only thing that is real which i think is just so beautiful that is beautiful. When was that, Dom? That was that was in the episode where you were all love drunk and doing your love drunk thing with yeah. um, where when you went you were under the love spell and like Waverly was running around being like mm -hmm. ah, everyone's gone. And you had that beautiful scene on the stairs in Shorties with Dimitri. That, that's where I say it. Actually. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I love, I remember watching you guys do that scene because we were all off camera and it was just, I thought it was just so beautiful. And you guys, there was so much depth in that scene of like, you know, Thanks, this like retrospective reflection that they both had. I thought you guys, it was a beautiful scene. Thanks dude, I appreciate that. I actually yeah. like kept forgetting my lines and was like really hard on myself with that scene. And it was yeah. frustrating because I think I, when I read it, I also was really moved by the scene. And I, uh -huh. you know, when you put pressure you on put yourself, pressure. it has to be a thing. You have this like vision of what it's going to be. And then mm -hmm. it totally takes you out of the moment. Mm -hmm. And then you get in your head. And yeah, so yeah. it was a little bit hard on myself, but it cut together nicely. Yeah, I so it was, yeah. always seems to do. Yeah, I thought it was beautiful. Thanks, so. uh, Um, This is for Mat Mat John, you know how to say, this is a French name, Mathilde? Mathilde? Mat Thank you, Mathilde. Okay. Oh, I've got a new one now. I've got uh, this guy. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. When was this? Da, da, da. This was in, oh my gosh, have I just. Dumb. 
Did you just? Uh, <laughs> oh no! Well, the good news is it's right in my right laugh in line, so you can't really see it. Right in the crease. Oh, though. Right in the crease. Um, this where was this? This was in Waverly's bedroom. Yes, it was early was, days. That was the first time they had sex, I think. Was it? Wasn't it? <gasps> And she's like, are you ready? Are you sure? Are we you need sure? confirmation from the earth. Yeah. Get involved. Please get involved. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure guys. that um, if I remember correctly, um, oh, thanks to whoever said my hair looks nice. Um, yes, I believe that it was when they had the, the argument because of the, you stole the papers, yes. the whatever paper, you know, the, all the stuff. And then we made up. Yeah, yeah, And then yeah. it was like, are you, are you sure are you you're ready? Sure? And it was like, yes. yes. And then, yeah, I think, but I'm not, I'm, I think you're right, Dom. I think I have a delay on my comments. I do so too. I, can, I feel like there were getting comments from like, from like a <laughs> while ago. back. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Um, so sorry that we're not able to like interact directly with you in what you're saying. That, that might be frustrating but yes I believe that that is the case I might also be totally off there so um but either way it's a, it was a beautiful scene yeah absolutely no I think you're right that that is definitely ringing ringing bells for me oh it's beautiful beautiful photo okay this one's going to peg thank you peg I hope that you enjoy your print it will be going to Cat Burrell also and coming your way soon this one, speaking of this one, is for Joe. And Joe says, I leave this open to you. So much love for you both. Thank you, Joe. Oh, thanks, Joe. I great. love your name, Joe. My dad was wanted to call me Joe, actually. Really? Yeah. But, uh, and where does Joe come from? Is it a family name or just a, just a name no, that you like? My dad just really liked the name Joe. Nice. Um, and then <laughs> my mum and dad had a... Had a disagreement on what I should be called and then and where they landed on Laura and I remember, like, yeah, that's right my mom thought that it was going to be a really exotic name because it was French in, in Montreal there was no one called Laura and my yeah. dad was like trust me there's going to be many Lauras in the class and my mom was like no no c'est Laura c'est trop beau c'est yeah Whatever. and then but I, my dad got second choice so my second name was Dominique right so he, actually called, he, he wanted to call me Joe Dominique but he landed on they landed on Laura Dominique. Wow. Hilarious. And then when did you start going? Like, when did you ditch Laura? Oh, I didn't. They did. My mum was like, I can't do this anymore because they were pronouncing it like very British and like Bristol British oh. as well, which is like, Laura, they like add like an L on the end almost yeah. like Laurel. Laurel, like really hilarious. Oh, she just was like, I can't. And she was like, I can't do this. This is not, this is not her name or like their name. Um, and yeah and then um and then eventually like after a year and a half they changed my name and there's like have a memory of them calling you no, laura no but i found these tapes like a few years back like for the first time ever i saw like videotapes that my granddad had been filming from the side of the room just randomly yeah and literally i was going through them and on one day they were calling me laura and then on the next <laughs> day they started calling me dominique and there's this little like toddler going around and they're like dominique dominique and, and you're like, not like, paying attention the at all <laughs> what are you talking about like, it must have been so confusing as a little kid oh. to suddenly have to change your name yeah. like without any understanding of why or what was happening i think it's quite hilarious oh personally gosh is it on your birth certificate laura yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. wow 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 okay myroslava e alejandra I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, are you? Have you been uh, doing the numbers on the back, Kat? Oh shoot! Because I yes. missed a few, and I I'm gonna. I have to go back. But but we don't know that we can go back. Is the thing, right? Oh sh shoot! That's right. So we're just gonna have to say sorry. This is our first time, and they're gonna have to maybe figure it out. Well, the names are all there. Exactly. I think it should be okay, but just a reminder to. Okay, thank you. Yes, I just uh, forgot on Joe's, but here we go. What should I write? Oh, I'm stumped now. I leave this open to you. If I was certain of the scene, then I would. Um, I want to write, are you sure? But I don't know. 
Say again, love. I want to write the are you sure, but I don't know if, if it's accurate. If that's accurate. All right, I'm just going to write. So what else can I write? Oh, I really have to now put on my brain. Um, Miroslava e Alejandra are beautiful names. Mm. And I'm definitely going to do your special instruction, but I'm not going to say it out loud mm. because reasons. Oh, oh, I'm intrigued. What a beautiful community. <clears throat> okay. Go. Joe, if you're out there, I wrote where you go, I go. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite, my favorite Nicole and Waverly moments. You have a bunch of really great lines. Like whenever we sign things and I like I'm after you, I'm like that hot had some <laughs> We have sync. Yeah. Yeah. But we just like hit we the nail on the head. Cards like, for sure. Like you could have written a whole line of greeting cards just with no Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Caitlin, this one is for you, my dear. Taking it back to some competitive and cockiness. <laughs> okay. Where's my next one that I have? I also have this like pet cemetery one. And this lovely oh, yeah. one. Remember this? This scene Aww. that we shot a little cat. That's cute. <laughs> yeah. That was funny when we like watched the <laughs> when we watched, watched the episode, we were like, oh, oh there it's cool. got. I think that was a like a good move though. It was, yeah, it was. If we had it, already done it and it would yeah. have taken away from that very spontaneous moment we had at the end of six yeah which is one of my favorite scenes of all time yeah just because oh. everyone's there or like most people are there yeah and they're all the scene. watching okay surprise surprise i need a wee so i'm gonna take a real quick pee break okay and you I'll go, you go. In two seconds cat is that okay yeah 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 of course okay, cool. you go i'm gonna um keep figuring out these okay guys I'm solo now for a few minutes. I let's see who is next. Scrolling, scrolling. They gave a lot of these. What they did is they gave um like basically some of the prints, all of four prints to Dom and all of the other four prints to me. So the the wedding one is very popular. The wedding oh and the uh, the rooftop. So I'm scrolling down and the season two on the stairs and the pool table. I feel like Dom got the ones that were the, the, the most, the most in demand. Let me see if I can find another. Ah, yes, here we go. Okay. I've got another one of these. Okay. Yes, can see it. And this is for Jen and Lisa. All right. I'm going to write with you in a, in a nice bronzy color. And Jen and Lisa, keep living your best way hot wives lives 2023. Oh, I'm so curious. When did you guys get married? I'll share this with Dom when they get back. Um, okay. So I'm supposed to put a number on the back. KD132. Okay. Or maybe this is not, maybe it's not you didn't recently get married. You just are, are married or have been married for a long, long time, which ma uh, major congratulations to you guys, Jen and Lisa. Dom, I'm signing for Jen and Lisa, and the special instructions are keep living your best way hot wives lives. And I'm wondering if this is a recent marriage or if they've been married for a long time. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Wait, that's quite a tongue twister. Way hot mm -hmm. wedding. Wives. Wait, wives. Lives. Lives. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, hi. Thank you. Um, and yeah, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, guys. Your... And this one that I have here is another wedding pick. And it's going to Mel. Hi, Mel. Hi, 
know, 2023. They put the date on here, so I'm wondering if maybe they got married in 2023. All right, well, there you go. This is coming over to you, Dom. Nice. Mel has said that we can write whatever we want. Oh, free and rain. I, free rain. Yeah. I'm putting love heels. Oh. oh, that's beautiful. Because I truly believe that. There's nothing quite like the vibration of love. Mm -hmm. Because it might be the only thing that is real. Oh, waves. Okay, oh, waves. heading to my next one is for Celia. Hi, Celia. If you're there. This one is for... for oh, sorry, Dom. Sorry, love. This one is for Tr Tracy, and Tracy wants us to write... I want you to write, taste like marshmallows, and Dom, oh my God. Nice. Do 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 are you doing um, the two con is the two conventions right this year? This I am in the summer. Yes, I'm doing uh, the one in Buffalo and the one in Buffalo? the UK. Mm -hmm. Buffalo, New York. I thought it was uh, Niagara Falls. Yeah, something. yeah. Um, they're yes. They're it's sorry. You're right. It's Niagara Falls, New York. Um, yes, which is really close to Buffalo. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Are you you're doing both too, yeah. right? Yay! Oh, that'll be good. And then the other one in the UK, I guess, will bring you over to see some of your family yeah. and stuff. Yeah, go to Manchester Perfect. and do the rounds at the same time. I'm really excited about it. Have you spent much time in Manchester? What's it like? I actually, my first job that I ever did was filmed in Manchester. I was oh. a, a, a dancer, nice. in uh, a featured dancer in a TV show that was called Britannia High. Ooh. It was particular... Uh, particular flop if we're being really truthful <laughs> it was supposed to be like the british version of glee um uh, didn't okay. quite catch on in the same way <laughs> oh, no. but I uh, totally yes at least see you in the british version of glee <laughs> i was a dancer in the background doing my like little um dance classes anyway this one is heading to jossie hi jossie but yes, it was filmed in Manchester, and Manchester is a really, really cool city. Um, yeah. It's such an interesting place. I really love it. Um, and yeah, it's going to be nice to go back there. Um, and I have a friend there, so I'll be able oh, to nice. see her at the same time, which is awesome. That's, I've heard, um, I've heard, well, I, I've heard mixed things on Manchester, so I'm excited to sort of discover it some people are like oh it's really cool there's lots of like really fun spots i think you have to look that's what i've kind of been told you have to like put in the work to find the really fun interesting spots in manchester hmm, interesting yeah um, there's yeah i i feel like there's a lot of really interesting stuff that goes on there comes out of that much of it oh, yeah so i haven't been in a while i don't know um yeah, yeah well, I'm, these I'm, days. I am excited to explore I think I'll uh I, I definitely want to spend a little extra time if possible yeah yeah sure. okay Heather Gomez this one is coming to you an old classic and this one is for Janet Janet says please write something you think of nice anything we think of okay Oh my gosh, I'm bad at this game. Um, I know, I <laughs> I feel you. Sometimes you're like, I can't think of anything at all right now. Anything at all. Um, anything you think of. Which print is it? It's, um, it's this one by the fire. The Halloween one. I've just got to think. It's my little voice that's like, oh, that's, that's not clever enough, or that's not interesting enough. Let's see. Mm, 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 mm. Don't put the pressure on yourself, love. Just literally work yeah. comes to your mind. No, you're right. It's going to be perfect. Oh, balls. Oh, 
I keep forgetting to put the numbers on the back cap. Oh no. Okay. That's okay. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't know how we say we'll figure it out and uh We will. We'll we can do okay. a little call after and sort it all out. Okay, cool. Um so I'm gonna start with the numbers. That's gonna be good. D K D fifty eight. Jamie Maddox. Hi Jamie, if you're there. Jen, um, I've written for you uh trick or treat and I'm the treat. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <sighs> Jamie. Okay. Ooh, I've got Kathy. Hi there, Kathy. This one is for you. And you would like um our favorite line. Okay. Five, one. Jamie mm. Maddox, coming your way. Excellent. Happy. I'm going to put baby. That's everybody's thing. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what I was doing recently, Dom? I was cutting um, some footage for my demo, and I was sorting through Winona Earth stuff to pull from. And I was watching, um, of course, like then I got into watching the behind the scenes because on iTunes, when you have the season, you get the behind the scenes, which are like so amazing. What a, how lucky to have those videos. Oh my gosh. Just, I'm so Take glad. right I, back to the memories. Oh, yeah. It took me right back. And I was watching the one for the cheerleading episode of you talking about doing the dance and like doing it over and over but doing it for the whole day basically because <laughs> we shot that scene for so long so long you must have been i don't even you must have been in pain yeah, yeah my body was definitely yeah. yeah definitely yeah feeling it afterwards yeah. i had to have a nice long bath for sure yeah. that night yeah but I, I you were talking about the process of it and I remember that day so well. Oh my gosh. Again, I got the easy job. I just had to stand there. I get to be warm and stand there. You're doing, you're doing and say a lot the best more line. Work. Say the best line ever. <laughs> Anyways, there you go, Kathy. That's for you. Okay, I've got one here for Danny. Um, what do you both think Waverly and Nicole would say to each other waking up the first morning as newlyweds? Love you both. Greetings from Germany. Aww. Oh. What would they say to each other? Hi, cutie. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Hi, cutie. Uh, Hi, cutie. Hi, wifey, my, maybe. Yeah, my my wife is hot. My wife is hot. Hey, cutie. I feel like Nicole would be like, "I'm gonna go down and make breakfast for my wife." Uh, yeah. Stop. Or maybe she <laughs> she'd probably bring it up. It would be I'm, cute if like. Waverly woke up and Nicole wasn't there and, and then for a split second she's like, what the heck? And then she comes in with a tray a of tray. all the favorite goodies. Cute. <laughs> um, okay. You know what I think I've done, Dom? I think I've actually I accidentally a couple times double-clicked and marked things completed that aren't. So I think we have to just go through at the end and cross-check everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there was definitely one up on my screen that I think I've now accidentally clicked away. Okay, Desiree. I love no, Desiree. no special instructions, but uh, we will put your name and we will sign it for you, Desiree. Thank you very much. And hopefully, uh, hopefully, you see this. This is your photo. Mm. And I have one here for Paula. Write whatever comment you choose to make. Mm. I'm going to put cheers, quiz. <laughs> okay. Oh, number on the back. There you go. Oh. Oh, I've got first one of these. This lovely one here. Let's open this up. And I've got one for Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Carolyn. 
live with us right now. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Hmm. This is so sweet. Okay. What did you choose for your demo reel from uh Oh, I chose Wiener. a bunch of Wiener Earp stuff. I chose a scene with Doc after he kills um Charlie. The oh nice. Well, yeah, kills. That's a great yeah. Scene. yeah. And then I chose uh the one with you on the stairs right after our epic love scene where we're like mm -hmm. nose to nose. Nice. And then I chose one. I have like literally everyone's in my demo and Varun's in the scene with, with Tim and then at the end of my demo so the one with Tim is the beginning and then the middle is the one with you and I and then at the end is one with Mel at the truck where it's from season four and it's and it's where I've just jumped off the train and she's she's like hallucinating she's doing all your voices yeah and she uh, hears no Nicole. And she's like, yeah. You're, yeah, you're like angry. Yeah, and I'm like, don't lie to me. I'm like, you promise you're not lying. She's like, I'm not lying. And she's completely she's lying. Completely yeah. lying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I've got I've got three in there. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I just, just refreshed it after like I think it was like three or four years old, my old one. So it's a good refresh. Okay, Linda. Hey, Kat and Dom, could you each add your favorite Way Hot quotes? Thank you both. Okay, Linda. Ooh, I feel like this is calling for a vow. Hmm. Oh, one of my favorite was, I promise to hold your hand when the firelight grows dim and that my love never will. Aww. I promise. Okay, so Nicole and Sh Sharif are celebrating their second year anniversary. Oh, congratulations, guys. Yeah, congratulations. Um, I want to make sure that I'm writing everything in partnership wedding in December. Okay, so it's a, a winter wedding watching oh, live beautiful. from our Instagram, our dog's Instagram. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay, so this is to Nicole and Sharif. It's amazing how many Nicoles there are in the fandom. Mm. Yeah, I have come across quite a few Nicoles. Some babies that have been named Waverly, both both animal and human. Animals. Yeah, yeah animals. I was going to say lots of and animals. Humans too. There's a few human baby Waverlies. That's true, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Nicole and Sharif. Congratulations again. And this is for you, Linda. Awesome. Okay, Jesse. Right, whatever inspires you in the moment, peace and love, Jesse. Thanks for the peace and the love, Jesse. Okay. I've got one for this. The, I call it the pet cemetery photo. Where Waverly buried all her <laughs> pets. Pikachu. Pikachu. <laughs> I seem to remember those Pikachu. Those Pikachu's a hamster. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then there was a goldfish too. Oh yeah, here he is. Splish. There you go, Jesse. Queer love is magic. Oh. Oh, don't forget to write the number on the back. Oh shoot, I think I didn't do that one for this. <laughs> We're really good at this, Kat. We're and really, now it's really gone. Good. All right, well, I'll figure it out. Okay. okay. This KD181. Got some of these guys. This is for Karen. Cool spelling K E R R Y N. Hi, Tom and Kat. I had to get this photo as I bought the scarf Waverly is wearing in the auction. No way. Wow. Cool. cool. Okay. Please write whatever you'd like. Okay. Okay. And I have one here signed for Georgina. Coming your way. Some way hot love. Nothing like a little bit of way hot love. Nothing like the way hot love. K-E-R-R-Y-N. Karen. 
I'm going to put here, I am the angel's shield. I am the angel's shield because I feel like it's a bit of a precursor. This is the first time. This is kind of like one of the first scenes we really had on a mission kind of together. Like it, this was very early days. That was in the alternate universe, wasn't it? <gasps> oh, you're right. And they were like, then it was like running through and there were all of the revenants and everything around yeah. and they go into the thing. Was this the one? where we had that big scene where the where the tires were yeah. on fire. This was just before it. That's before. right. Because you have to dig up the talisman. Don have you watched this recently? I, I feel like, like you are brain. on I mean, these storylines. I'm impressed. I did, to be honest with you, I did rewatch it. Do you remember just before I came back to the convention? That's right. I was yeah. like, I wanted just to just have a little bit of a refresh. Yeah, I do need to give a rewatch. I also know this is late in the season because my hair is quite cartoon red at this point. <laughs> This was, we were just like, we would just throw Hail Marys at it, like this weird red shampoo. Like, I remember every time I would shower, it would look like I had just murdered someone because this shampoo would be just on all the tiles. And I'd be trying, and I'd like put it in and then have to like sit there for 15 minutes. And, Amazing. And it, it just, we had just really given up at this point of the season on trying to maintain a nice red. So this one is to Le Letizia. Letizia, I think that's how you say it. And I have to write the worst joke that I know. And I am like, oh, oh no. God, worst joke. Oh, I'm so bad at the joke ones. Me too. So bad. Sometimes I have to like look jokes that's up. It. I'm like, I don't know any jokes. I'm yeah. not jokey person i mean i'm a jokey person but not a like tell joke person yeah 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 i i, I re very much enjoy oh there's a leak in the fridge when there's a leak in the fridge there's a leak <laughs> when there's an actual leak in a fridge anyway don't worry um <laughs> i was like is this the bit is this am i supposed to say what leak or <laughs> no, it's and it's only possible if there is a leak in a fridge. Then you can say, "Oh no, there's a leak in the fridge." Don't worry, cat. It's, it's not. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. Um, you're gonna have to write that now. There's a leak in the fridge. I'm writing. There's a leak in the fridge. Is you, it like some sort of innuendo, innuendo that I'm not understanding? No, no, no. Like there's a leak. Uh oh. Right. You don't want a leak in the fridge. <laughs> is this supposed to be a joke? <laughs> this is proving how bad it is, which is why it's definitely going in. And okay. I love how you're like, you can only say this joke that makes absolutely no sense if there's a leak in the fridge. So this is like a like maybe twice a lifetime joke that you just keep <laughs> in your back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh good. My God. Oh no, there's a leak in the fridge. There's a leak. I was like, is it something about peeing your pants? I can't understand. <laughs> oh gosh, that's so funny. Oh. Thank you for the laugh. <laughs> oh. I love a love a proper belly laugh like that. <laughs> Thank you, Let Let Letizia. Oh, Cage, I've missed you here. Another one here for Cage with no special instructions. So we're just going to put lots of, uh, lots of lovey hearts on it. Cute. Sexy way hot moment here. Cagey. Oh, make sure to put but yeah, the... Yes, make sure to put the numbers on the back. In the back. <laughs> with all the laughter I forgot there for a sec. <laughs> oh, good. If anyone knows any good jokes, please do please. write them in the chat Drop so we can learn chat. some. Yeah. Um, okay, so I've got this one here for Rissa. Oh, Rissa. Some, this? somebody says I do want. I still want to know what was said during the proposal scene. Oh my gosh! I'm surprised okay. they never released it. Like just as yeah. Um. Do you remember, Kat? 
I don't think I re I used to remember, but I think it's gone now. Yeah. Yeah. It was a, I mean, the whole point of it was that um, Nicole had, Nicole had uh, found Nedley's couch. Yes, she had gone to all the trouble of going to locate the couch. Because obviously reasons, there was a moment, there was an important moment that moment. they had on that couch. Um, and <clears throat> I think yeah I mean you'd be able to speak to this more but why do you think it was really it was important for Nicole to also have that moment um I think that I think that the the moment that they got engaged was so pure and beautiful and perfect and then there's a sense that it was also after like a, a very um dangerous and trying time and there was a lot of like anxiety around it and stakes and it was a moment of like holding together but i think nicole wanted a moment of like silly celebration yeah, yeah. and and it also shows how like with the planning and the finding of the thing it shows how invested she is yeah. in making waverly see like that she's like meeting her there meeting her that. there yeah, I think I think it was a, a beautiful, a beautiful moment, but ultimately unnecessary in the story, like you said, totally. However, I love that a meeting Waverly there. That's beautiful. Well said. All right, Cage, got you covered here. Mark is complete. I've got one here for Diana. Thank you for the amount of love you put into representing Way Hot, oh. because it was one of the first times I saw positive queer rep after I came out. Oh, fucking huge. huge huge and like thank you to emily and the rest of the writers for yeah choosing to center this storyline um in such a positive way it i mean it was life-changing for me too i mm. hadn't ever had that representation either interesting that the first time it comes you're actually you're playing it, you're playing it. <laughs> yeah um, but yeah, so glad that you found the show, Diana. Thank you for being here. <laughs> this is for Jean and Jean says, I miss you both so much. Do you remember me? I gave you both tomboy X underwear last time I saw you in, tw in 2019. <laughs> Say something risque dirty to me. I love you both. Ooh, Ooh. Jean. Okay. I have to say, but, but that swiftly became my favorite underwear, Your favorite all, underwear? All the time. Yeah. And then I went and bought three other pairs, different ones. Amazing. They, they are very comfortable. I still so have those comfy. Well. Yeah. They're so comfy. Okay. Jeez. Aaron Ooh. and Tracy. Dirty. Karen and... Crazy and dirty. Okay, let's think. <laughs> Karen and Tracy, thank you so much. This is coming your way. Well, actually, it's going to cats first, and then, and then it, will it will be, be coming to you. Actually, coming to you. Risky and dirty. Um. <laughs> I'm still like, oh, what's a clever, fun thing to say? I want to make like an underwear joke. Dom, can you sing? Oh, it went too quick. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is... You're still playing your guitar, like, often. Yeah? I've gone through... Have I told you that I'm writing a movie with music in it? You have told me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I'm in, I'm more in the, um, the script phase of things, oh, but wow. I'm writing, cool. I'm writing the music. Like It was I'm, like a road trip kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cool road trip movie, That's right. but it's, um, but music is a huge theme in it. So it's like, I'm reconnecting with my music by like infusing it throughout the storyline. Um, <clears throat> and so the next step is that I need to record like some demos. <gasps> 
so that we can have it as like part of the package when we're selling the movie so it's like this is kind of the type of vibe that's going to be in there so it's I yes I am in in need of of getting out the guitar again and it's interesting I don't know about you um with creativity or creative outlets how you'll go through phases where it will kind of take a back seat for a second and then it will come into the forefront and yeah so it's been a little bit of a back seat for a second as I've been moving and like really focusing on the script but yes I, I very much feel the need to reconnect with it soon because now I'm gonna have to get yeah. into I get into the, the basement sound. and get get recordings and stuff that that you have a little recording setup in your basement right is that part yeah, of yeah we just we just we just did it um oh, that's so cool. exciting yeah that's very exciting Okay. D one two three. So back to this print here. We've got um, Carleen and Cat to write where you go, I go, and Dom to write. I'm here and I stay. I'm stuck on something risque. Okay. I'm, uh, oof. I'm stuck. What? I'm trying to make an underwear joke, but I can't think of anything. <laughs> Where's Mel when you need her? I know, totally. Yes. Where is Mel when you need her? Um, I should try and help you out, shouldn't I? Um, no, no, no. I mean, uh, unless anything's coming to mind. I need an underwear joke. This gay. It's one thing when you're like, I'm going to write something silly that one person's going to see. It's another thing when you're like, I'm going to write something silly that however many thousand, thousand and a half people are going to see. Uh, oh, for the Lord's sake. I'm just, I'm going to set this one aside and I'm going to come back to it. I'm back to it, yeah. My brain is not, not catching up with me right now. I would be in exactly the same boat. That's a tricky yeah. one. Um, okay, so back to this pool table print, and this is for Petit Poulet. C'est qui le petit poulet? Allô, vous deux, vous êtes uh, de, si, de si beaux êtres humains. Can you write down your favorite pet name for each other from the show, Valerie? Aww. Mm-hmm. Valerie. Hmm. Tu vas voir que je, je, je peux presque pas lire en français, en fait. C'est vraiment euh, comme bizarre parce que j'ai, j'ai appris le français en parlant avec ma mère. Puis j'ai jamais appris de, de lire ou écrire. Donc c'est toujours un peu, ça me bloque toujours un petit peu. Um, OK, but our favorite pet names, pet names in for each show. other in the show. Uh, I mean, the first one that comes to mind, I don't know if it's really a pet name though, is like Erpiest Erp. You're the Erpiest Erp of them all. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. like a kind of pet name though. I don't. I'm trying to think if we really used pet names a lot I don't in the show. Have a memory of that personally. No. Um. I mean, I I remember when you were drunk and you were like, "Hey, cutie," whatever, and I'm like, "Don't you cutie me," or whatever. Yeah, don't you drunk me. And then hi, sweetie pie. Like, I feel like those are the only ones that we didn't really have what pet names. But yeah, I mean, hey, cutie, don't cute. Like, we could write that. Like a call and response if you want. Yeah, because I can't quite remember. I can't quite. Don't you cutie me? Don't you cutie me? I think that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's the line. Okay, this one is for Jen. Favorite lines from the show, please. Hmm. I'm gonna write for this one. Your lips are so soft. Not from this scene, but appropriate for a big smoochy moment. All right. Okay. <clears throat> this one is for you, Jen. There you go. Merci, petit, petit poulet. Coming your way. That's it's really cute. Ah, shoot. I think I need to refresh this. Yeah. 
my um, pens are slowly dying. Slowly dying. Um, okay. We have Stephanie. Stephanie Tarango. Hi, Stephanie, if you're there. Um, I'm going to write on this one again. Stephanie Tarango. Just like so many cool names in this fandom. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Stephanie Oh, I lost my spot here. Oh, we should have had a coffee before. I'm feeding. Do we need to have a, a coffee coffee tea like pause? Is we'll that a pause thing? to go get a get a cup of something. I mean, we're going to be here for a while, so we can we can maybe choose to go for another another little bit and then a do a pause. Because I mean, realistically, I don't know how many we have left, but I think we can got at least at least 75 i feel like we may be just about halfway of for all of them for yeah, all of the well, hot ones i've got a, an oh yes i guess we have to do i may do my solos on um on another day is that something are we allowed oh, i think so i think so what do you think i mean we could do them while we're both here it will go a little faster probably because we're we're just doing individual ones no, no, we can totally yeah. do it on another day. And you're going to sign in live and do it. Yeah, live. that's what I was thinking. I wasn't okay, sure cool. if we were doing the, the solo ones today as well. No, no, no. I think you're right. I think we can do them, them okay. when we feel it. Okay. I'm, I'm not sure when I'm going to do mine, but we just have to let people know, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah and I think I, so. It's tricky because the truth is, is that like, we thought we were going to be here for an hour, but the truth is, you know, if people can't sign in for four hours or yeah. whatever, yeah, 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 it's like they might miss it. But yes. at the same time, well, I think we can post this after. Ah, I'm we'll just not so sure once, once it gets longer than a certain like I don't know if it will allow you to post like a three-hour thing. We may have to stop and restart. Okay. Um. All right, so this is Kate, uh, Andrew Smith. This is for Haley and Hannah Coots. Hi, Haley and Hannah. Andrew Smith. Hannah. Okay. Andrew Smith. There you go. Alright, Haley and Hannah, this one is for you. It's coming to Dom next. Wonderful. I'm now on to Jennifer. Favorite way hot scene slash memory on set. Mm. Okay. Printed it. Here we go. So on this one, I'm gonna write. My favorite scene, way hot scene slash memory on set. God, there's just so many. It's so hard to choose. You choose. It's really hard to choose. And I find that my choice changes. Yeah. Like over yeah. the years. I'm like, oh, maybe this, maybe that. And depending on like what mood you're in mm -hmm. and what, what piece you're like reminiscing about. Yes, absolutely. This one is fun. This one is, there's no name on here, but they're asking for thought bubbles. Dom, please write feeling thirsty in Waverly's and Kat, please write feeling hungry in Nicole's. Would love if inspired, would love if inspired to add more and thank you. Okay, got it. Feeling hungry. All right, let's see. I need a little thought bubble here. Hmm. I'm gonna put sorry balloons right now uh, yeah. just because it was such a cute scene and i think we had like a really lovely time we doing it dead yeah i remember i remember shooting that scene so well but then also oh, i'm gonna also put the proposal because that proposal proposal was just so so beautiful it was perfect and like how long we took <laughs> to 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 film it my pens are not happy like 
at all. Oh, no. No, this one I've written, feeling hungry, I need a snack. And then I'll write, this will do just fine. I wonder if this is going to work. Mm. There we go. This is for mystery person. Mystery thought bubble request. Okay. Complete. Do -do. Oh. What keeps happening? I have one for Claire. Hi, Claire. I really need to figure out the pen search. So, do you have any more somewhere else in your house, or is that kind of the. This is, this that, is all I'm, I've got, really, that I'm working with. They're just all, you know, when Sharpies get to the end of yeah. their life and they're. Uh, annoying yes i i know i know exactly what you mean okay i don't know why this keeps re reloading and sending me to the top i may have to say i've completed your ones because i don't think it will let me keep going down the list huh hmm. Hmm, i don't know what to do about this Hmm. I can if I. Mm. Oh, what to do? Can't what to do, darling. Are you are you straight out? Like then none of them are. are the, the silvers and the golds are kind of like they, you know when you just like don't feel good about sending yeah, a signature not, that's not like not looking clear. good or not yeah not clear exactly. Um, but I'm gonna try doing it in a different way. I'm gonna do black on a different part of the photo and see how we go oh yeah see how that goes um what do i have here next i've got one this is for jen and brandy congrats on your upcoming top surgery and living <gasps> authentically for who you are yay Beautiful. congratulations congratulations Amazing. Wishing you like all of the best of luck for this next yes. chapter of your adventure. Like that's so exciting and such and a so huge, a huge step in just like what a transformative, both physically and spiritually experience. Yeah, aligning with your true self. This one's for Claire. Thank you so much, Claire. I yes, I'm going to see just. I'm just going to pause the video two seconds. Okay. I'm still here. Yes, I'm still, okay, I'm still here. Jen and, Jen and Brandy. Rest on your upcoming time living authentically for it. And then is Dom or Kat able to do a shout out? This is your, this is your shout out, guys. Hi, Jen and Brandy. I hope you guys are, are able to see this and are watching and you're having a great day and you do something really fun tonight and all the best with the surgery. Wishing you um, a speedy recovery and that everything goes really smoothly and your healing process is beautiful and speedy and we love you and thank you for being here. So I'm sure Dom is going to be back any minute now, but I'll yes. keep writing this. Yay. I just echo yes. everything that Kat says. And, yeah, just wishing you all the best of luck for your healing as well. Um, and just like may it start this beautiful new chapter of authenticity and alignment for you <clears throat> okay Okay. How are you getting on over there, Dom? Oh, you're frozen. Or maybe paused. Maybe paused. Okay. There you go, Jen and Brandy. Thank you. All right. Complete. Ooh. Get a sneeze.
<clears throat> Sorry, Brandy. It's okay. I'm okay. Okay. <clears throat> Every time I sneeze, I scare my dog. Does anyone else's dog do that? He always looks at me like, <gasps> you're dying. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. Okay. Or really like <laughs> perturbed and like slightly offended. Like, how dare you disturb my peace with your shocking <laughs> noise? All right. I'm going to head to these prints um, that require a black pen. So this is for Jordan Lewis. Okay. This is for Robin. Where you go, I go. Beautiful. Where you go. What a beautiful quote. I love this quote. All right, Jordan, this is coming your way. Thanks for being with us. All right. And this one is for you, Robin. Oh, put your number on the back. K D 20. Kiara. This is the first time I've done this, so I don't know what to put here. Go crazy, I guess. Favorite quote from the series or just a bit of wisdom or happiness. Oh, beautiful. Awesome. Kiara. Ah, oh, balls, it just keeps disappearing on me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I've lost my spot here. All right, I'm just going to start bouncing around. Uh, this one is for Zan, and Zan writes, Hey, Dom and Kat, hope you're doing well. Feel free to write whichever way hot quotes you want. You're both awesome and amazing. Much love. Thank you, Zan. Aren't you the sweetest, kindest person for, for being here and, and hanging out with us? Thank you very much. So, Kiara, I put, sometimes when you fall off the cliff, you might just fly, which was inspired by a Cat Burrell line. Cat, that was, it's actually a... a a line from one of my songs um, that I wrote when I was in Calgary oh. and all about my queerness and coming to terms with my queerness and that line came through and I was like that's I don't remember exactly what you said in sometimes when you reach the edge you'll fly yeah, you, yeah. you're like not worried you're not worried or something because you know you'll fly or something like that isn't it fly. yeah I can't remember exactly what the, is that sentiment yeah and it inspired um a line in one of my songs oh, it's beautiful I remember talking to you about that song yeah yeah I wrote, I wrote quite a lot of songs in Calgary I was quite inspired with my music that last yeah that, that last year you were really you were playing and writing a lot yeah yeah, yeah it was a good one Okay, Jen and Tracy, write your favorite quote about love. Love the show. We're glad to have met Waverly and Nicole and so glad that they got their happy ending. Mm. So am I. Feel free to write whichever way hot quote. Yes, okay. Mm. So I'm going to do some vows here. So I'm going to write the love might be the only thing that is real. I think I'm going to write one that I already wrote earlier, but it's appropriate for this photo because it's in front of the fire. So I promise to hold your hand when the firelight grows dim and that my love never will. There we go. Jen and Tracy, hope you're having a beautiful day. Put your number on the back. Oh, Make sure it gets to you. Complete. Okay. 
Now we have Karen, yeah. Karen Riley, Melbourne, Australia. Okay. That's for you, Zam. Thank you. All right. Next one. Karen. Would love, I promise to stand by your side for all of life's adventures, to hold your hand when the fire firelight grows dim and that my love never will. I'm going to let you write that cat seeing as it was yours. Beautiful. So I'm just going to pop your name here, Karen. Let's see how I'm going to go to the next one. I still need a sexy underwear quote for this one, of cats. <laughs> Standing by. Oh, dear you me. Um, okay. Laura and Anna. KD for Okay. Where oh, you go, I go, and then oh, you're safe. No. Classic and beautiful. Oh, oh. God. Kat, I think I just mark completed one that wasn't. I think I've done that before, too. Wait. Oh, no. Maybe not. Oh. Maybe has Karen. Karen's got one of your prints, too. So that's why it oh. messed with me. Oh, that messed with your but, head? Okay. But I think we're good. I think okay. the one that I've done, that's all fine. Okay, good. Um, okay, so that one's good. Yeah. Kelly, another we a wedding one for you, Kelly. This is Laura and Anna, where you go, I go. Okay, thank you guys. All right, let's wait. Kelly, there you go, love. Complete. Oh, uh, now we have a Barbie here. Hi. Barbie, where have you uh oh I also I know someone I have these ones? Very cool human called Barbie. Alright, this one is for Eric, and Eric wants just write a fun little message or note. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay, Tanisha. No, um, heading down to Jessica. It's really funny. I think that the for some reason the like, um, well the the comments yes just keep like recycling on my side i keep getting the, so it also six. looks like the same the same thing i keep seeing so it also looks like cat is on the other side of that curtain which but it just keeps coming up it just keeps going up the same one i'm like i i'm not seeing the most relevant oh, like the, i see what you're yeah 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 i see what you're saying but they're just i haven't honestly been reading these too too much Mostly because my brain can't handle <laughs> yeah, the multitasking. Multitasking. Okay. Jeff. Eric. So something fun for Eric. Just a fun little message. About this graveyard. Or maybe just in general. <laughs> oh, dear me. Katie, one for Jessica, one of Thanks. my favorite funny Nicole moments. I'm gonna say, you're like honey mustard. I want to spread you all over a pretzel. That, that was such a good line and scene. You did that so well. Kat. Oh my god, dude! I remember that scene. We had such a good time <laughs> shooting that. We had such a good time. It was ridiculous. With Dan. Oh my gosh, that whole episode was oh, just hilarious. So honestly, fun. yeah. Okay, so to Lisa. Hi, Dom and Kat. Thank you for bringing us way hot. Write something fun, a favorite quote, anything. Love you guys. Aww. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Um, yeah, okay, Lisa. Here you go, Eric. Thank you. I mean, the thing that's coming to my mind is you're a lesbian, not a unicorn, right? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh... <laughs> That was, was that season one? That was the early days. Yeah, that's yeah, season that one. Yeah, that was season one. Brilliant. Mm. Gosh, my thing keeps refreshing on its own. 
I think it's because I'm trying to go on the next page and show the next batch of them, but it keeps, I think it's because every time I delete one, it, yeah, that's why it is, okay. Do you know that you're a lesbian, not a unicorn, right? Yeah. But when, you know, sometimes in ADR, there'll be like a note from like Emily or like yeah. a direct, like somebody who's like, that it's not that like quite the right, um, like what's the word? Not the intonation, but like, yeah, the, the phrasing. I, for some reason, like didn't say exactly how like they were expecting. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, we were trying to get Emily on the phone. And I was like, I've messed up this joke. Like, I don't know what it is about this joke that's not landing but exactly. I couldn't and I was like I'm I am I missing something huge about like lesbians and unicorns yeah, yeah. I'm like am I reading it wrong or whatever thank goodness it seemed to work and the fandom liked it because I was so nervous that like I'd completely missed something obvious did you ADR that then no yeah to do it a bunch of times like you're a lesbian not a unicorn right and like the you know like the like the emphasis, emphasis on different words yeah for i some reason. never would have known if that was adr it was like, and usually you ADR. can tell wow yeah. good job dong <laughs> thanks <laughs> i was like i'm such a little baby queer am i missing am i, am I missing something, something yeah real big here okay let me see okay I think I'm going to have to start marking some of yours complete, Ooh. like the ones that I'm supposed to sign because I, it keeps flipping me back to the wrong page and then I can't find where I am again. Oh dear. Is that going to get really confusing for them on that? Like, how are we going to know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're new to this. I don't know how this works. But it keeps, uh, every time I'm, because I'm on the second page, but every time I complete one from the second page, it boots me back to the first page. Oh, I see. And I can't find my, my place again. Huh. Hmm. Okay. That's okay. All right. Maybe I will just not mark them as complete and I'll go back. That's what I'll do. Okay. Okay. Lauren and Levi, this is a gift for our wedding. Congratulations, guys, on your wedding. Yay. We met through Erping. Please write something to make us smile. How beautiful is that? God, I love it when people meet in the fandom and get married. It's the best thing ever. There's been so many of them. It's, oh, it's amazing. Mind -blowing. Lauren and Levi. I'm writing one here for Liz. And I'm ringing love, trust, and fly. Thanks, Liz. And a number in the back, KD11. So I'm just doing the Weho wedding ones because of the pens and I'm just hoping that they're gonna like recharge. Is that a thing? Sure. The pens are gonna recharge. And if they if if I have too much of a problem, I might have to I don't know whether I have to like get pop, some pens and, and get come pens back and, and do back the ones. On. Yeah. I don't, see, if really they, sure. see if they recharge and, and we'll we'll go from there. Okay, cool. So we've got Ashley here, KD61, Ashley. You never know, we might just have like super magic, like rechargeable Sharpies, yeah, right? Sure. sure. Maybe tip them, can you tip them like so they're down? Yeah, yeah I'm sure that's done. what you've done, yeah, okay. Yeah. On this beautiful Hi, Ashley. It's coming your way soon. There we go. And now we have. Uh, Man, um, I cannot multitask. I am so bad at it. I I'm understand. like listening to what you're saying and then like trying to write. No, 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 no. This is for Chris. Ah. <sighs> 
Caleb? Yeah, I do hear Ronan. He's woken from his nap, but Ray's in a class, but it's very early. He should not be awake right now, so it's okay. okay. I'm hoping he'll go back to sleep. All right. Sending so, sleepy vibes. Sending sleepy Everybody vibes. Knows. Everyone sends sleepy vibes to Ronan. To Ronan. And now Bernie's at the door because every time he hears Ronan, he needs to go into his room and check on him. Oh my god, really? It's really quite, quite sweet. Yeah, look, he's like, he's like, I hear him. Oh, I know oh, he's that's there. so cute. Yeah. It's okay, Bernie. He's gonna go back to sleep, okay? So I have one here for Sarah Marshall, and I'm writing, I promise to stand beside you as equals, which is my favorite part of the of the vows too. And Lauren and Levi, I have written you a, um, a, a wish for your wedding. Um, uh, congratulations on this beautiful next chapter of your lives. May you be filled with joy that lasts all of your days. Always make each other your first priority. Uh -huh. Lots of love to you guys. Congratulations. Um, I'm just gonna, just gonna pause myself for one moment, Dom, just to go yeah. check on things out there. How do I do that? Or do I just step away? How did um, you pause yourself? I just swiped up and then you like basically leave the application and you would just pause it. Um, like go out as if you're leaving the application. Oh, now I can't hear you. I'm going to just leave it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because I'm definitely going to screw it up. I'll be back. Okay, okay bye okay. love. So, hi. I wish I could see your comments, folks. Unfortunately, um, oh, there's some questions here. That's cool. But, yeah, the, the questions are no longer loading, which is frustrating. Um, but anyway, hi. And I hope everyone's having a lovely Saturday and that whatever you're up to is feeling cozy. Okay, back. That's back, excellent. So Sarah Marshall, thank you so much. Um, moving on now to, okay, so. Okay. Oh my God, someone just gave me the best underwear joke. What are you eating under there, underwear? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Carolyn. Yes. Nice. Jane, I hope you're that is... fine, but I'm going to totally thrift that off of Carolyn. That Thank is amazing. Very much. Oh, my God. What are you <laughs> under? Oh my god. Underwear. That's Underwear. so good. Brilliant. Yeah, so I also am kind of coming to the similar thing as you here, Kat, with the page you... thing. Oh yeah. So you know what I'm saying. Okay. But I do have okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um hot pause on my end mm -hmm. real quick um quick quickly um, be back okay man this <laughs> god bless those of you who are still watching this this is really uh i hope i hope this is remotely entertaining um okay this is i am com just completely out of order here but i'm gonna do one there's no name on this one but you said that um, you you said that we can write whatever comes to mind. So I want to write something lovely and romantic. Oh, maybe I'll write. I will write. Your laugh is like Christmas. That's one of my favorite moments. Is like Christmas. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. Nice. So this is, I'm not sure who this is going to end up with, but it's coming at you. Oh, I need to write your number on the back. KD12. 
Okay. All right. Your laugh. Whoops. Your laugh is like Christmas. All right. Did you have a nice Christmas? I did have a nice Christmas. Yeah. I had a really, actually, quite a lovely, like, low key Christmas, which is great. What about yourself? Me too. Yeah. It was unexpectedly low key because we got snowed in. So there was no way of getting to the families, like right. in Montreal. Oh, okay. it was so, you, so snowy. You were at your, it, you had your property by then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We just, I just moved in. So yeah, me, my mum and I were like, I guess we're staying. Yeah. So it was just like super cozy. Oh. Just like, we didn't have like planned food or anything, but it was great. Oh, that's, you know, when you just like crazy. make do and you end, I, we end up having pasta. Oh for Christmas, but it was yeah. fucking delicious. <laughs> it was exactly what I wanted, you know, yeah. just unconventional, well, but it's awesome. really what it's about too. Yeah. Right? You know, I think we, we get really sucked together. in like running back and forth to things, but yeah. Um, okay. So I've just found this like unconventional <gasps> pen. I'm hoping that this is going oh, to work. Oh, like a little paint pen. Like a paint pen. All right. So I'm having the same problem with losing my spot. Again and again and again. Okay, the paint pen yeah. works. So we just First, make, sure, make really? sure that I don't um, smudge. Okay. This is the Ari this is Aaron and something your character would say. Um, like in this scene. Um, okay. I think I'm going to start marking your ones that you're doing as completed on my end and I'll just have to let them know because I can't see any of the other ones. Okay. All right. So I'm going to just start doing that. I suppose seeing as they've got, they, they know which prints we've got, they'll know. They'll that understand. Yeah. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll have to. All right. Here we go. This is a bit cheeky, but oh. I'm going to write, you know, I never missed the spot <laughs> because Waverly is pointing a gun. Okay. And That's so okay. competitive, so cocky. Well, no, I never miss. Like, yeah, I feel like Waverly would be uh, would be quite a quite a. Um, oh, this is maybe a little too risky to say. <laughs> I agree, though. I think I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I agree. yeah. She's just she's 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 an over. She excels at everything, and I think she would um, she would make a good point of studying. Yes. Yes. Bit. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. So there we have it. There we go. Do 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 do. Erin. Okay. And then by the chain is complete. Okay, so um, we have another favorite line from the show, please, here, which oh. is again on the so competitive, so cocky print for Robin. For Robin. Nice. P D two zero six seven. So I'm gonna write Robin. All right. Sorry, I'm gone quiet because I'm just still just catching up here. Don't be sorry, cat. All right. Robin. Um. Yeah. And I think about what I want to do most in this world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's you. I remember <laughs> so much more. What did you say after? God, that sounded that was so much better in my head. Romantic in my head, yeah. More romantic in my head. <laughs> Such a Waverly moment, so honest. Yeah. 
I remember looking up what gooey duck was in that scene, reading <laughs> it too. being like, what the heck is this thing? Yeah. So random. Yeah. But it does. It does look like a... It does look like a, a peen. peen. Okay, Tiffany, here we go. All right, let's back at it. Tiffany, this is for you. A new Earth fan, huge Dom Cat Mel fan. Please write your favorite quote or whatever you'd like. Thank you both for everything you do. Thank you, Tiffany. All right, favorite quote. I have one for Kylie here. And please add character name and favorite quote. Quote if applicable. Wait, I've done this. Hmm. Bear with me for a second. All right, please write your favorite quote. Let's write something. Something. Or whatever you would like. I kind of want to write like I'm definitely not a khaki person. I definitely like a Stetson. Something about that. Mm. Let's see. What's your favorite quote? Come on, Kat. There's like four seasons of words. <laughs> Something. And really good quotes too. You and really, really good quotes. quotes. Probably too many to choose from. Oh, that's the problem, right? You know what scene I was also watching recently was that ring scene. We're trying to get the ring off. There's a really good line there that I almost never write, which we get that thing off and then we get off. Amazing. I'm write that one. Something like that. We get that thing off. I hope that's it. We, or it's maybe it's get that ring off. Uh, get that. I'm going to put ring. Forgive me if that's wrong off come on and we get off and then this is like a good idea we <laughs> get off all right tiffany there you go all right Comfy. i could have sworn Okay. Well, maybe it's just the cut. I'm doing that one. You're doing that one. You got that one. I feel like you got sent the most popular prints for sure. Because I feel like most of these are yours. That is very bizarre. Oh, good. Yeah. I had done yours uh, when I think about what I want to do most in this role. It's you. And so I have done this, but good job that I hadn't marked it complete because I forgot to put Waverly. So I'm just going to put your character name. Waverly Herb. Waverly what, what was the thing you first thought when you started, when you first read the auditions for Waverly? Like what were some some thoughts that you had did i tell you that i was in i was in um the middle of nowhere camping when i got the email through yes yeah 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 you have to i, I either either yes i've heard this it story rings a bell sure. yeah yes so i i had gone i had gone off with um this boy that i was madly in love with at the time and uh we were like we drove our bicycles like into the middle of nowhere and like wild camped and it was just oh, like nice. such an awesome really adventure romantic and, like, yeah very romantic like under the stars and all this stuff and but it was like one of you know as an actor that when you're like auditioning you you know if you get an audition and you've got a few days to prep it you want to get it with yeah the appropriate time to do the work and get it in and I got home from this trip and it was like <gasps> it's got to be in by like tomorrow or something oh. and I'm like no okay shit 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 so I just like 
it was the fastest audition I've ever done. Like it was just a, such a quick turnaround, but it's one of those things where you know when it's good writing, when you retain Remember the words lines. super quickly yes. and it's just like, it goes in and that's not common for me. Yeah. So it was like, oh, okay, I can totally do this. I can knock it out. I managed to get like a, a really good little setup. It was in my dad's house in Bristol and I did it in my dad's room. I'll never forget it because it was so random with this guy reading. He was not, he was not an actor at all. <laughs> but it must have been good. I don't know. It was good. It, it, and it went really well, um, surprisingly. But yeah, I thought, who is this quirky little cookie? And like, yeah, I absolutely adored the, the audition. I thought it was so good. She did. Um, she, they wrote a scene for like Waverly and Dolls um, in the, like they were doing a drive. Uh, what's it called when you drive a drive along? Oh, a ride along? Like, 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 like on the job kind of thing? Yeah, 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 yeah ride along. And she was like, which was actually very similar to the scene that actually got put in with Varun, with um, Jeremy. And dolls. And dolls. Do you remember there was a scene when they then and like and Jeremy's like, oh, I brought snacks yes, and stuff. Yes, that yes, was yes. Waverly. That oh was, my that gosh. Was Waverly. And it's funny how those things happen. Oh wow, that is amazing. And so you just did it. See some of those where you don't have time to think. You don't, don't have time to get in your head. You just knock nope. them out. Yeah, it's, they're the best ones. They're, yeah, it's crazy. And then the ones you like kill yourself over, you never hear anything back. Yeah, <laughs> you think, and you're oh, like, you've worked so, so hard and you've created so a backstory. Yeah. And... So this, this is for Lisa. <laughs> Sorry, Kat, you go no, first. No, no. I was just going to say this, this is, has no name and no special request. So somebody is getting this. I'll put a little smiley face. Nice. So you know that this is yours. Cute. There you go. And <laughs> this is for Lisa. This is for Lisa, and tomorrow is my wife Lisa's birthday, so I'll leave it up to you to write some creative birthday wishes. Aww. Happy birthday to Happy Lisa's birthday. wife. That's a really sweet, a very sweet gift. How thoughtful. This is for Jess and Amanda. Jess and Amanda, I'm going to put your names on here. go there you go jess and amanda that's for you thank you oh i got your number on the back we're good let's see this one is for dar and ronnie celebrating our anniversary in march together yeah, for 27 years legally wed as soon as we could 14 years ago the way hot wedding was the best oh, i got chills thank you that's so awesome thank you guys that's amazing. Happy anniversary. 27 years. Woo! That is, a, that is something to be celebrated. Some, something to be celebrated. I feel like I wish we had the equivalent of like a wedding celebration or like the hullabaloo for like a 10 year and a 20 year. And a, you know, I feel like we need to have more <laughs> bigger celebrations for anniversaries. Because that's really the work you know that's an achievement that's relationships an achievement. are not simple yeah and i would like to know your tricks yes <laughs> give so us all your tricks. Tricks. give us all your tricks we want all your advice so i'm not Dar sure if I ronnie leave or this Dar one out. Ronnie. I'm, oh sorry Dom, go ahead no, that's okay I'm, I'm i'm gonna like i'm not sure if i should read the happy birthday message out like maybe i'll keep it as a surprise sure, keep it as a surprise that's nice okay. Because Lisa's wife might be watching. You never know. You never know. Yeah, good thinking. Okay. Celebrating 27 years. Wow. Okay. So we have Jada here. Hi, Jada. J Jada. I said it out loud and instead of writing your number, Jada, I wrote a J. So it's a KD. Classic. Red paint pen if you have it. Um, actually, I do have a red pen, but I don't know if it'll work. Let's see. Um, okay. Wow. So competitive. Yeah, no, that's not going to be pretty. So I'll do it in my paint pen, which is working really well. I'm very happy that I found this paint yeah. pen. Paint pens are, they, they do work really well in these photos, actually. I don't know why you turn it 
Should you continue to press fall? Yeah. Wow. So competitive. It's actually really, really nice to write with. I wish I had found this one earlier. Um, thanks, Data. For you. Right. Okay. We have a jewels here. Darn Ronnie, this is for you. You are incredible and inspirational. Wishing you continued blissful love, endless laughter, and adventure. Congratulations, you guys. What a what a milestone. Beautiful. Okay. Six. So this is for Jules. Dom, what line would you have ad libbed for this scene? Cat's response to Dom's ad lib. I'm gonna go with my other ad lib because I think it's I think it's the one. So Jules. And then Kat, you have to respond to my ad lib. Oh so. okay. excellent. <laughs> so yes. I just saw um, a comment. My comments are all frozen, but they are frozen on the underwear joke. And right above that, I've just noticed is, please stop with the French. I'm not strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> the French is so sexy. Is I it? Mean, oh my God. It is a sexy it's language. such a sexy it? language. It is. Yeah, you're oh. right. Oh. Okay, this is for Megan. Hey, Kat and Dom, this print is for my wife, who I proposed to before an episode of Winona. Way Hot has had a huge impact on us as a lesbian couple. Thank you. Oh, yay. Yay. So this is... Oh, juice. Uh, I, I, I hope that Megan is the, is the one who is receiving of this and not the person who put in the order. You know, you know I always hit the spot. <laughs> That's so great. Dom, what do you think? If there's no if there's no name in the instructions, should I put the name that's on the order? Yeah, probably. It says two. Um, I would put it e like is it on two? Yeah. Yeah, it says two Megan. I'm hoping that the that the person who's receiving this is Megan and not the person who placed the order because it sounds like it's a gift. Oh, I mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I should. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for it. I'm. I'm gonna assume that it was straightforward enough in the instructions. Okay. To Megan. So Jules is complete. Um, okay, that one's yours. Then we have a Marissa. I loved watching you guys. One of my favorite TV shows for sure. Thank you. Oh gosh. I sometimes like still cannot believe that I was in a TV show, but we were in a TV in show. In a TV show? I know it's weird, it's like right? people's favorite TV show. Yeah. And that we, like it was an actually not just a dream. Like it's just so, it's so amazing and such a I don't know how to describe it but just sometimes it, it like hits me and I'm like, oh, and you're we like did that. oh yeah we did that and it changed our lives yep it does feel and it the, the crazy thing is it it went on for a really long time yeah like it's easy to, to think like have that dream feeling about things that were only a couple days or like one special day that you're like did that even happen but to have you know, five, six years of your life that you are like, was that real? Yeah. Like, exactly. I look at photos sometimes and I'm like, were we there? Did that <laughs> yeah, really exactly. happen? That was like hundreds of days. Yes. Of experience. Exactly. That still feels unreal. It, yeah, yeah. I completely agree. It's, yeah. it's really mind blowing. Okay. I'll, I'll never forget that. Um, when I was on a, a big movie that uh, had didn't have the best experience, I won't go into it right now. But th I was it was a, one of the jobs before Winona, and I was having a really tough time. And I was like in my bed, and my, my mum was there, and I was just like, I just I just want like a nice kind TV show where it's just like a series and it's just like a, like a nice bunch of people and that's all I that's all I really want mom 
And then when and you, comes around, you literally manifested, manifested that, that in. Wow. Like, and it always comes back and I'm like, oh my God, you literally asked for that. Yeah. It's really amazing how that works. The manifestation stuff, saying things out loud. Yeah. Has so much power from writing them down and yep. Um, focused attention for sure. And Cody Aiden. Cody Aiden. Write your favorite Waverly quote or Waverly inspired message. I'm gonna go with the uh, you're a lesbian, not a unicorn, right? Okay. To Megan, wishing you a lifetime of laughter, sweet kiss kisses, and great sex. Hey, -o. hey -o. Um, this is for yes. This is was this Megan's was it your birthday or is this a just because? I think it's a just because. Here you just go. Because of the love this is for you. All right. Just because of the love. Okay, that one's yours. That one's yours. That one's mine. Emily. This one's for you, Emily. Thanks. Done. That one's done. 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 Thank you, Emily. Sarah. Okay. This is for Sarah. And Sarah says, looking for encouragement. I came out completely less than six months ago. Thank you for giving me the courage and sharing your stories. Yes. Beautiful. Congratulations. Congratulations, Sarah. It's a big, big step. And six months ago is, is quite fresh. So we love you and we support you and we're very proud of you. Yes. Welcome to the most beautiful family. Okay. Okay. Sarah, what shall we write for you? What am I doing here? Concentrate, Dominique. Okay, those are all yours. Those are all yours. Okay, Emma and Fiona. This one's for you, Emma and Fiona. Do you think we have enough for spares, Kat? I think so. I mean, you've got a lot of the wedding one, but if you have a big stack, you should be okay. Did you make a mistake on something? I just, just like did a small F instead of a capital F for Fiona. Mm. And you know, when you're like, do you, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll keep it aside. And then if I can- And if you can, you do it. Yeah, do it. Yeah, good idea. Still very much says Fiona, I just didn't do a capital because sometimes that's the kind of thing that happens. What happens? We're so proud of you, surrender yourself. Thanks. There you go. It's still cute. So this is for Sarah. We are so proud of you. Surround yourself with love and support and welcome to your next chapter. Aww, Sarah, yay. congratulations. All right. <laughs> I love this. Just write, so this is for Peggy. Just write or paint, <laughs> paint something sweet from your heart. You a, you're a painter, Kat? You, you gonna paint? I'm a painter? No, yeah. definitely not. Other than walls, no. I wish I was. I would love to be able to paint. I might take a class one day, but yeah, uh, no. I tend to be more drawn to like meteor projects. Like the delicate projects sort of intimidate me. I sort of like the like, 
like woodworking or yeah. like putting, I don't know, getting my, uh, getting, I don't know. So the really delicate stuff is, it's sort of too, too finicky for me. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. I was thinking about the other day because um, I've been like working, I got myself a, a sander, like an electric oh. sander to oh. like work with my wood nice. in my house. And um, I love it. Like I oh. love working with wood. Yeah. It's such a, an enjoyable process. Um, and I'm actually finishing my wood project in my room. Like I'm, I've, I've sanded everything down and I'm going to varnish oh. it. And it's just like... Nice. Yeah, this weekend, hopefully, if I have have time, I'm going to get the varnish out. And Yeah, there's something so, I think it's like the organic material, too, and that you can kind 100%. of feel like the life in it. Yeah. I love working with wood. Okay. This one is, there's no name, but the, the ask is, Kat, can you write the quote? I do a lot of things to do. And Dawn, can you write the quote? You do that for me. Thank you both. Oh, for Logan. Okay, we'll put Logan's name on here. All right, I'll leave you space, Dom, to go first. Thanks, love. And I've got one here for Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Thanks, Lauren. Okay, there you go, Logan. Got a, a spot for Dom. I do a lot of things to you. <laughs> Love that. Okay, yeah. Sierra. <laughs> this is for Laura. Laura says, Dom, right? This side eye is for people who don't think Nicole looks the best in the season two uniform. And Pat writes, seriously, have they seen me in it? I mean, they're not wrong. They're I'm not very wrong. sweet, Laura. Thank you. I loved that uniform. It was the most comfortable of the bunch. And it was pretty sexy. It was very sexy. Yeah, I have to Sierra. agree there. Sierra. Did you feel the best in it? Like, is it the one that you enjoyed wearing the most? I think I actually enjoyed, like, for Nicole, I think I enjoyed the light blue shirt and the dark pant combo that we finally arrived on. But yeah. it was pretty funny to have this, like, slick, really low zippery thing. <laughs> yeah. Just to have the experience. Just to have the experience. Yeah. Seriously. Thank you, Sierra. Thank you. Pit. All right. Okay. Complete. We have a Nikki and Jen here. Hi, Nikki and Jen. Hi, I. Are you seeing? I'm not seeing any more of the chat, but I think no. we're still live, right? Yeah, it says so. It says we're still yeah. alive. I'm Do sure. you think it would be beneficial to stop it and start it again so that we are sure that we can post it? Post it and then sure. we we'll also hopefully we'll get the chat again. Yeah, I think that's a good and idea. So do you, you think we'll lose people? Like I oh, I don't know. I want to make sure that people know what's up. But mm. you I'm just thinking about um that it will say like if it's too long, I'm not sure because we've been going for two and a half hours at this point. So I don't Absolutely. even know if that's yeah. like, a postable amount because I know right. there's some people who are saying I can't make it for the live but want their exactly yeah I saw that too right? so why don't we try and just everyone who's listening knows that we'll come back in and Dom do you want it let why don't you we'll do the same thing you initiate it on your end sounds like a plan I'm gonna go make myself a quick drink okay um should we say like let's take like five minutes and come back Excellent. Okay. Let's do it. Excellent. All right. All right. Bye, folks. Okay. Bye. I'll let you, I'll let you sign Do I off. just like, I don't know. Exit? I don't know. I'm scared.